For AWS Platform can be used to migrate your data, documents and applications from Lotus Notes to a modern web solution. Let's start with an asset document file related to a set of clients. This is a typical organization of such a data within Lotus Notes. We can show the same data organized through different views, hierarchical or as a list. Starting from those documents and views, you can migrate them using the platform approach. This migration is based on a few steps. The first step requires the extraction of data structures, data and documents from Lotus Notes to a series of files containing SQL instructions to create database tables and data. The second step, in the easiest case, consists of executing these files in a database schema in order to recreate the same structure and data on a relational database. The third step requires the use of Platform as a low-code development tool used to configure graphically the Lotus Notes applications by recreating them from scratch. Let's see each of these steps in detail. We use the App Designer to extract data structures, data and documents from Lotus Notes. In order to do it, we need to specify where the Domino server is located and the credentials. Note that the extraction tool is either embedded in the App Designer, as you can see here, or it can be executed as a shell command in case your platform installation is in cloud and you cannot directly access the Lotus Domino server, which is likely to be located inside your organization. In this way, you can always execute the extraction task even when the platform is not inside your organization. Let's move on. Here we can see the list of NSF document databases available. We can choose one of them and press select file. In this window, we can choose which documents to extract from the NSF file and we have to specify where the extraction tool has to save all data. It has where the files will be saved. These files will contain all the SQL instructions needed to recreate the documents, like tables, in a relational database and all required data. Documents embedded in the NSF files are also extracted and saved on the specified attachment directory. These files are referred in all other SQL instructions, of course. Supported relational databases are the ones supported by Platform Enterprise Edition, Oracle, SQL Server, PostgreSQL and MySQL. The second step consists of creating the final database tables. Here, you can co-define your own tables, which could have a structure totally different from the one defined in Lotus Notes. It's up to you deciding how to define them. Of course, if you decide to define table structure not compatible with the ones defined in Lotus Notes, it's up to you creating custom programs to move the extracted data from the original format to the one required by your tables. In the easiest case, you can maintain the same structure, which means you don't need any data integration task. This is our case. So we simply choose in which schema to store the extracted data, structures and data, and Platform will do the job for us. Let's see the outcome of this operation on the SQL tool embedded in Platform. Here, we can find a new table and when looking at its content, the extracted data. The final step is related to the creation of application on Platform. We have simply to use Platform as a local development tool. Consequently, what we have to do is creating an abstract representation of the table called Data Model, creating the user interface, like a window showing the list of the data extracted and stored in Cliente Table. For this task, we select Window, New Window, we assign a title to the window and an icon, we choose how to show data, in this case, a grid, and that's all. We can see the result on the web application just created.
Let's go to the home page and select the web application we were working on till now. Here, now we can see the cliente functionality and when clicking on it, the list of data extracted from Lotus Notes. More in general, the content of Lotus Notes can be managed through a series of modules. Data can be managed in tables of a relational database. Documents can be managed using the built-in features for document management provided by platform or by using the Alfresco ECM directly supported by platform in case of a very large amount of documents. Complex processes can be designed and executed using the embedded BPM based on Activity BPM. Collaboration features previously managed by Lotus Notes can be managed using the Google G Suite directly embedded in platform. Finally, Lotus Notes applications can be created using platform as a low-code development tool. That's all. This is just a simple example showing the potential of the product. How to use and how complex must be the final database and application depends on you.